In this very short lecture this evening, I want to talk to you about your approved degree plan. Uh, your approved degree plan is basically a roadmap for where you're going to go as you pursue your master's degree um, with the Regent Theater Department. Um, and so it's a very important part of the work that you and your advisor do to make sure that you get through the college in a timely manner. Every student must complete one of these approved degree plans with their advisor, and it has to be in your uh, permanent file before you apply for graduation. It has to have your signature, your advisor's signature, and the Dean of the School of Communications and Arts. Now, how do you find this all-important form? Well, as in most things that happen in today's society, it begins with a web search. Go to the uh, Regent website, go to the page for the School of Communication and Arts, and find the, appro the, the Degree Plans tab. When you get to that page, you'll find a listing for three degrees. The Master of Arts in Theater, the Master of Fine Arts in Acting with a concentration in Directing, and the Master of Fine Arts in Acting with a general concentration. Um, obviously, you want to, to, to choose the Master of Arts in Acting. Uh, and since the online sections of uh, Research and Aesthetics only have the Master's candidates this year, uh, that's all we're going to talk about is how you as Master's of Arts candidates proceed with your ADP. Now, once you click on the link and it asks if you if you want to open a file or save it, you'll, you'll hit save it and this is the file that will come up. This lists what uh, courses are required or what choices you have in putting together your approved degree plan. Uh, it's done by semester. Uh, you meet with your advisor, you decide your plan, and you get it filled out uh, and get it signed and into your file. Now, a couple of things about this. You'll notice there are no electives for the master's degree candidates. Uh, you guys are, are cramming a whole lot in in a short amount of time and so uh, there's not a lot of room for electives in your course of study. Um, it's really that simple. Uh, it's not that complicated a process. There are, there are not a lot of things in graduate school that you get told are not rocket science. But this one's not rocket science. Uh, fill out the form with all the personal information that you need. Get your advisor to sign it. Uh, get the signature of the Dean of the School of Communication Arts. Uh, and you should be set to graduate. Now, the other thing you need to be aware of uh, this uh, during this module is that you also need to take the handbook quiz. Uh, you'll find that uh, in the quizzes section of the course tabs. Um, so make sure you get that taken as, you, as soon as you can. Um, thanks. Bye.